I got a quick little video for you guys. Well, I always say they're quick and then they're a little bit longer because I like to talk. But someone commented on one of my OpenSense videos. Thank you. And said, how do you bridge network cards in a box or something like a little protective box where you have four Ethernet ports? I tried this a while ago and I gave up. I made it. I gave up because I broke it. I couldn't figure it out. And the reason why I started my YouTube channel a long time ago is because sometimes online documentation doesn't work well for others. People don't understand it and don't know how to make it work. I couldn't understand it. So yesterday, I tried it multiple times and I figured it out. And then once I figured it out, it clicked. It made sense. So today, I'm going to make a video for that subscriber and for anybody else who wants to know how to bridge connections on a box that has multiple ports. In this video, I'm going to use a box that was lent to me by one of my subscribers in Canada, which is a Lenovo M920Q, and it's got a four-port Intel gigabit network card in it. I'm using the onboard network card for the main WAN port, and then I'm going to add all the four ports on this for a, um, for a network. <clears throat> Maybe a good reason sometimes people want to do that. They have a small network at home and they don't want to go out and buy a switch. They only have like maybe a PC, a printer, and something small and a Wi Fi access point. So that's probably why they want to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So today's video, I'm going to log in and I'm going to show you guys the box and we're going to configure that. First, we'll bring up the instructions. Um, open sense bridge next as we can tell I've already found it this is the documentation that I've followed a couple times I couldn't get it but after doing it a couple times and failing yes we all have to fail and learn some people learn it real quick some people don't I got it working so I'm gonna show you guys how I've done this so let's log into the box it's a test box so it's 1.1 don't harass me We are on the latest version of um, OpenSense because I updated it last night before I started doing this video. It was the box that I tested. An i5-8500, six core with eight gigs of RAM, plenty of RAM for this little machine. So to do this, we have to look at our network ports. So if we go to interfaces and assignments, this box is using two. The main one that's on board is the WAN. And the LAN is using one of the network ports on this device. If we see here, we have three other ports that are not used. So what we have to do is we have to add them and then enable them. Now, before I go too far, you can see right here, there's IB, IGB1, IGB2, and IGB3. And also IGB0. Zero. zero right now is LAN. So we have to pay attention to these because we're going to have to do some magic. Not hard magic, just magic. So let's do this. We'll go add, add, add. Done. Very simple. We've added them, but now we got to enable them. So let's go and enable them. Uh, I'm going to click save one more time because sometimes I get distracted. As we can see on the side here, hopefully you guys can see that. We have option one. It's not enabled. So we're going to enable it. We're not going to touch anything else. I'm going to leave these as option one so that way we can know what they are. So we'll save that. Apply, option two, enable the interface, save, apply, and option three, enable interface, save, apply. Now they're enabled, but not part of anything. So now what we have to do is we have to come down to other types and go to bridge. We have to create a bridge, and then we're going to add those to it. So now we're going to go, we're not going to enable this. We're not going to put that in there. We're going to call this bridge network so we can identify it. Bush save. It's going to complain because we have no members in there. So now remember when I said there was a whole bunch of network parts that are in there. So we enabled one, two, and three. It starts at zero. It's like a, um, a RAID controller on a server. It goes starts from zero all the way over. So we're going to add these three in here. One, two, three and we're gonna save. Nothing's gonna work right now. 
those are not going to work because we haven't added them to a network. And that's where I was getting stuck. I was just like, I thought it was a rule. I thought it was some kind of funky thing. The trick here is we have to switch the assignment. And once we do that, my main connection to the computer, because it's using zero, is not going to work. And all we have to do is take this and put it over to here, and then we'll get back onto it. And then what we'll do is we'll remove that port and put it into the port bridge group. Watch. So now we have to go to assignments, LAN, and at the very bottom here, see we see bridge network right here? If we click this and go save, I'm not gonna have any uh, network activity. So we go ping 1.1.1.1. We have no network activity until we swap it over to the bridge group, the group that's there. We have to have a group of uh, ports that are working. And see, now we're back online. So we'll go Apple C or is it Control Z? Yeah, it's Control Z. Now if we refresh this, we'll be back in there. Now we have to go back into assignments and change that, right? So LAN is working and then we have to go up to option zero. Where is zero? Oh, see zero's down here because it's not a part of a group anymore because we took it out of the LAN. So now we just have to go plus, right? Save. And then we go back down to our, where is it? Option zero? No, it hasn't refreshed yet. So let's go at this and refresh. Oh, they named it four. My bad. Anyways, so it's number four now. We could go back and push it to zero so we could find it. We have to enable this. Save. Apply. And then we go back into our other types, into the bridge. We go here, edit. Now we'll see four, which was zero. We'll go save. And now all four ports, if we look at the top here, we go, we can call zero, one, and just move them over by one. So we have one, two, three, and four, all four ports across this neck. And I'll put a picture in the video and I'll show you what I'm talking about, put a little arrow there. All four of those will work, right? If I go back to lobby dashboard, we're online. If I move this back over to port zero, it'll be back in there. Watch. And just for giggles, we'll plug my laptop into the port right beside it, which was never working, and we'll see that. Last saved page. <laughs> Connected. We got 1.2.168, 1.100. And if we look at the Mac, we should be able to go to Google here. I should be able to go let's see because we moved it over. We're online. And if we go fast.com, just to prove that we're on the internet, we're not getting 1.3. That's got to be buffered. 1.1 makes more sense. And it's a Sunday, so everybody's still probably sleeping. And I'm getting my full throughput today. Woohoo! Anyways, did that do anything to the CPU? Not a single thing. We're online. Let's see what our DHCP reservation shows. And actually, that's not there. It's under services, DHCP, leases. Do we see all the computers? We got my studio and my MacBook. So that's how you make a bridge. I tried so many times to do, <coughs> to do this, and I figured it out. It just clicked. And somebody with ADHD like me learns by playing. And once I've done it myself, I've learned this forever now. So hopefully that will help you. I'll show you a little box here. Oliver, one of my guys in the United States, gave me this box and I use this a lot. One reason why I'm using that one is because I'm trying some other advanced stuff on it and I wanted to try it. This little box just can't keep up to what I'm trying to do in the lab here. So this is a lab box. I'll be using this forever after I have to give that back, okay? So that's probably why the comment was added. How do you bridge all these ports? So this is a four port box. That's a five port box. You want to keep one for WAN, right? So we have our WAN and this person wanted to bridge all three of these ports. Makes a lot of sense because maybe they just live in an apartment. <laughs> so that's my video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And thank you to everybody that is subscribed to my channel. Um, I'm growing almost at that 4,000 watched hours to start money ties. Not that I care because it's just a thing, I guess. But anyways, you guys have a great day. 
I'm going to uh, go work on that box and do some other stuff. See ya.